So here we're asked to find the area of a right triangle using the Pythagorean theorem. So a couple of things that we need. One, we need to know the area formula for a triangle, which is one half times base times height. And we also need to know our Pythagorean theorem, which says a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared, where c represents the hypotenuse of the triangle. Now we remember that our hypotenuse is the longest leg that is opposite of the 90 degree angle. So here we have our base, which is equal to 10, and then our height, which is our unknown. And we can use this Pythagorean theorem to solve for this length and get our height, and then, and then go ahead and plug in the, um, the values here to, to solve for our area. And it says to be sure to include the correct unit in our answer. So let's go ahead and do <clears throat> this first. So we have a squared, so we have 10 centimeters, um, which is, is, we have our a squared and our b squared. We can label this b for our base or height. We could also call this a, b, and c in terms of our, um, in terms of our Pythagorean theorem. So let's go ahead and put our 10 centimeters and we're gonna square that. And then we have our base, which is our unknown, or excuse me, our height, which we'll label B squared, as equal to C squared, which is 26 centimeters. And we're gonna square that. Okay, well, um, when we square this, we know 100 squared, uh, or 10 squared is 100. And the centimeters also get squared, which is our units plus b squared is equal to 26 squared. Let's go ahead and work that out on our calculator. 26 squared is equal to 676. So this is 676, but also our units also gets squared here. And the reason it gets squared is because of rules working with exponents. Right, we, when we have a power to power rule, this power gets distributed to both things. So it becomes 26 squared centimeters squared. And, um, and that's why our units get squared. Okay, so we have 100 centimeters squared on this side, 676 centimeters squared on this side, and then a B squared. Um, we have simplified both sides. N none of these are like terms here, but we, so we're going to go ahead and use opposite operations to isolate for B. Let's subtract 100 centimeters squared. And uh, that leaves us, well, we have to do it to both sides so that we stay balanced here. This leaves us with B squared is equal to 576 centimeters squared. Well, to find B then, uh, we have to take the inverse operation of squaring something, which is the square root. Well, the square root's going to cancel our powers there. And we're going to be left with b is equal to the square root of 576. And our, our um, centimeters squared cancel, and we're just left with centimeters. So let's go ahead and figure out what our square root of 576 is and it's 24 which means that 576 is a perfect square that was very nice of them to do that for us so we're left with 24 centimeters so we come over here our height or b height is equal to 24 centimeters so now we have um, our base which is 10 centimeters and our height which is 24 centimeters and we can plug this into our area formula so our area is equal to one half times our base, which is 10 centimeters, and our height, which is 24 centimeters. And then we can resolve this multiplication. So our area is equal to one half, well, 10 times 24 is 240, and then centimeters times centimeters is centimeters squared. So now we can take one half of 240, and our final answer is um, our area is equal to 120 centimeters squared.